I remember the day when I was working for Fortune 10 and I convinced them that we needed to run Facebook ads. We needed to trial it. And so I remember the day, I literally have a photo of this, of us entering in our company credit card into the Facebook ad manager account. Okay, it's a Fortune 10 company. Okay, we're, we're putting in our credit card into the Facebook ad manager account. Uh, I remember us learning the ad system um, and proving that we could get 817% better return on investment every single time we ran a Facebook ad versus television, billboards, or any other stuff mm -hmm. that we were doing. And so I was like, holy smokes, 817% better return on investment through Facebook ads and through retargeting and things like that. Um, and so what we did was over time, over a couple months, um, there was a new corporate strategy that was developed and uh, somebody sent me an email and I was on this big email chain that said, hey James, um, your project was awesome, thanks for proving this case, this case study. They said, we want to bring over a $44 million a year Facebook ad budget. Can you build a team? And I was like, did you just say $44 million a year on ads on Facebook? So I called our, our rep. She said, yeah, that's going to make you like a top five Facebook account in the world. I was like, whoa. Needless to say, uh, it was a big project. We built out over 180 contractors to manage $187,000 a day in Facebook spend. Like when you have to spend $187,000 a day, like you have to spend it, that is really, really hard, okay? Um, like you got to think about like how to, like where could you even spend it? Like you, you like just running the ads... Um, like it literally becomes difficult to even think about where to spend money when you're talking about that kind of money. Uh, you know, you're probably wondering where we got the $144 million from if you know business. Well, we actually got that out of the TV ad budget, believe it or not. Okay, so uh, we took $44 million a year out of a TV ad budget and moved that into Facebook. Now, what do you think that did to ABC, NBC, Fox, CNN, um, or uh, uh, I don't know, wherever, like all the places they're running ads, right? What do you think that did to them? Um, you know, that, that's like a, a massive shift, guys, in, in advertising is to know that the biggest companies in the world are trying to do what you do. They're trying to learn what you do. Um, but those are the kind of things that are happening nowadays. You know, you see, you see that TV ads are falling off. If you look at the, the ratings, like where the dollars are being spent, you look at magazine, you look at all these things, right? Um, newspaper ads are all falling off and online is skyrocketing through the roof. Um, and the people who are leading the way is entrepreneurs, is young entrepreneurs, people who are young in mind, young in heart, young in spirit, um, you know, who, who are leading the way. And so the biggest thing though that I learned um, the thing that I learned about all that and the thing that you need to learn, uh, no matter what you're doing in your business, <clears throat> no matter if you're spending five bucks a day, $500 a day, $5,000 a day, or, or $50,000 a day, is consistency always wins in advertising, guys. So you might say like, well, I'm not running paid ads. Even if you're not running paid ads, you should be pushing content, running content posting and posting and posting and you're probably going like when you first start posting you're gonna start saying people are not responding maybe for six months people aren't responding maybe for ten months people aren't responding uh, don't let that stop you from continuing to deliver your message hone your message okay one thing that we teach is there has to be a match between your message and the, and the client that's hearing it okay so if you're not getting a response there's a there's a mismatch it's either your message is off or the person who's hearing it doesn't care you're, you're talking to the wrong person so you need to find a better person to talk to uh, or you need to change your message either or uh, don't I want to encourage you guys if you guys are running a business don't there's you know there's an old Jewish saying that says don't grow leery in doing good. I want to tell you that don't grow leery in doing good. If you're putting out content, if you're putting your ideas out there, if you're putting your thoughts out there, if you're putting your best foot forward, like put your best thoughts, your best ideas, your most encouraging ideas, the best things you can. Like screw the media, screw all this bad stuff, all the negative stuff going on. Like forget all that stuff. Like put your best stuff, your best ideas, the best thing that happened to you today. Just put it out there. Four people may watch it today. Who cares? Because I guarantee you tomorrow, next week, it'll be 40 people, right? And then it'll go from 40 to 400 people and it'll go from 400 to 4,000.